folks, Fine Guy Flies RC. How y'all doing? Coming to you from the Avon Park Era Maulers Club. Gonna take up the FMS Pitts 1400 millimeter or 1.4 meter wingspan. She's a 6S bird. I'm running a 4000 right dead in the middle of the battery tray. And of course, the battery tray goes way up into the nose. I've also done the mod where I've added a wooden uh, dam down behind the edge of the battery, ca uh, battery tray. To, in case that battery was a fall backwards, it'll hit that uh, blockage I've got and won't fall out because the pits has two itty bitty little uh, plastic nubs that hold that battery tray in. They slide up over that nub and you hear it click into place. But the thing about it is, over time, sliding that tray in and out, the nubs wear down and the next thing you know you're flying and that you know, big old brick falls to the back of your plane and now you have a very bad day. So um, we don't want that. Wind is now about five mile an hour or higher directly across the runway so it really doesn't really matter. It's kind of out of the west so I'll be approaching from that direction from the east into the wind and uh, so my rates today Going to do mid range right off the bat, which are 85% with 20% expo. My high rates are 100% with 20% expo, and my low is 70% with 20% expo, and that is all the way around. All right. Motor on. Motor on. Timer is set for five and a half minutes. You know what? I'm going to break that back because that's set for a 5,000 battery. Let me take that back to five minutes even since I'm running to 4,000 instead. All right, we're at five minutes now. Okay. Now with this plane here, you want to let her, you want to let her run off the deck when you're coming in for a landing. You want to run her off the deck as, as close to the ground as you can to bleed off that speed and don't let her touch until she's almost at a stall. Otherwise, she's famous for a lot of bounce. So, all right. And here we go. Got the easy lights on the gear. Basically, it's an aerobatic plane, but I kind of like just cruising around with her. Such a good looking plane. Here, we're going to turn out towards the highway. Like I say, I'm in mid rates. So she does have a very nice roll, even at 85% throws. All right, no flaps. I mean, I guess I could program uh, flapperons, but I've never been really good at flapperons. Yeah. All right. Get her turned around here. You, it just plain this the you think well it's a 1.4 meter wingspan. That's not that big. She's a lot. Uh, the size is deceiving. She's actually a very big plane. Um, but she can be very floaty too. All right. Here we go. Time remaining four minutes. Oh, well, the sun's actually coming out. A little bit of a knife edge here. Upward climbing one. All right. We'll bring her by right at us here. Yeah. 
love the white stripes underneath that wing. All right. Time remaining, three minutes. There we go. Let's get her turned around here. That bird is like, that thing is strange looking. It's moving, it's flying without flapping its wings. That's the devil. All right. So you can see the grass is fairly thick. Right, let's get turned around. We're going to do grass hops this time. All right. Here we go. All right, we're going to land her in the grass. Bring her back, taxi her back over to the runway. Time remaining two minutes. Well, the, um, given the stance of that landing gear and how the tail, just the configuration, um, she's actually quite stable. A little squirrely on takeoff as far as uh, on the runway. And this runway is like grease. I mean, it is super slick right now. So you got to be on that rudder. We're going to take off one more time. And you got to be on that runner. That was all, that could have been bad. See, I jinxed myself. I said, you got to be on that rudder and look what I did. <laughs> Got enough for one more. My poor camera lady's like, come on, my back is killing me. Just one more, baby, just one more. Through the water, got a little rooster tail there. All right, we're gonna get on this side of the runway this time. Time remaining, one minute. A good flying plane. Now its size and power can be a little intimidating at first, but once you get her in the air, you're like, oh, this is a sweetheart. And it is. Little Tokyo slide. Motor off. All right, we still had 30 seconds, but that's good enough. Four and a half minutes. Let's take a look. Try to get my radio too set. And I want to show you, let me check the voltage, how much gas is in the tank first. But if you see, this is not stock, but FMS, you need to do this. Um, this is just a piece of wooden, uh, like an old motor mount that I, you could take a large piece of foam block or whatever, but I hot glued that on there. You make it just behind that, uh, that uh, lip of the front of the canopy because that battery could slide back and this is, it's about, battery's about maybe an inch in from it. And if it slides back, it's not going further than that and keep your battery from going 
um, south on you. And all of a sudden, your, C your CG sh shifts dr uh, dramatically. All right. Uh, let me pull my checker out. All right. This is not a smart ESC and not a smart checker and uh, crazy pilot. So. Oh gosh, I still got 67% left. To show you the battery, you can see the battery goes up in there on that tray. Okay, you can see that tray how up there. Well, I'm gonna pull that out. Okay, and I want you to listen. Okay. All right, I'm pulling it out, now listen closely. Hear that click? I'm gonna do it again. That click, all right. If you listen over time, that click gets less and less and less. And if you look on the tray, there's these two little points there. Well, it, the, the tray clicks over that and holds that in place and keeps this whole big old heavy battery from sliding around. Well, those little plastic nipples are gonna wear off, but that's where I've got that battery. Well, those little nipples there, and they're on both sides, they're gonna wear off okay or wear down and all of a sudden your battery's going to slide back so this is why you do that mod to hold that battery in place and keep it from sliding back anybody gets this plane you can probably be okay the first couple of flights but get it done get it done get it done all right well there you go that is the fms pits and folks i'm five foot ten about a 200 mm, something pounds and uh, just give you an idea of the size of this plane she's not small I mean her mass look how thick that fuselage is it's a big plane so definitely success plane well folks thank you for watching don't forget to like and subscribe God bless y'all and don't forget Faith, family, and friends, then planes. Bye-bye.